Carl and uh, Billy Walker's Grand oh, okay. Ole Opry guitar well, appreciate and, uh, you, sir. and laying something on us here, sharing that marvelous talent. All right, I'll sing you this song I wrote about my dad. <laughs> it's okay. He had a great sense of humor. He had an amazing sense of humor. But uh, when my dad passed away about four years ago, there was all kinds of, you know, the the way life circles around is pretty unique. And I, I do want to tell this story about Jimmy Dickens. Um, you know, when I got to do something really neat, like I, you know, I called my dad and I said, hey, Dolly Parton called and asked if I'd sing a duet with her. And he goes, I'll be right down. <laughs> you know, and he came immediately from Columbus, Ohio, and he wanted to meet Dolly. Biggest smile I ever saw on his face. <laughs> kind of looking like this <laughs> kind of picture, but, uh, <laughs> but when uh, when he came and met Jimmy Dickens for the first time he loved Bird of Paradise you know but he also loved a song that I didn't know uh, the country boy song plain old country boy and he said Jimmy I can't find a copy of that anywhere I'd love to have a copy of that and Jimmy says well I'll just send you one you know and found one and sent it to him and uh I didn't think anything about it, and I didn't know anything about it. But uh, when uh, when we did the um, eulogy for my father, I just wanted to to play songs, you know. And I remembered that story of him meeting Jimmy Dickens and wanting a copy of that record, but I didn't know why. So first thing I did, we had this um, um, priest guy come up and, and do some stuff. My dad wasn't the most religious man in the, in the world, but... Um, his partner felt like she needed that for some closure and this and that and did all that. And then came me in a boom box playing little Jimmy Dickens, you know, because I'm just a country boy, you know. And, and and I finished playing that song and I said, I'd, you know, like for my dad's brother to come up here and, and just say a few words, you know, about about my dad. And he got up there and he was really taken that that song had been played. And he said, he said, I just, I can't believe you played that song. He said, when we were little boys, we're maybe five years old. He said we got a um, a little 45 record player for uh, for Christmas one year, and we were about four or five years old. And the first record we ever had was that one. So you never know. I'd love to hear my daddy play once again well, All the songs that he taught me when I was a kid John Henry, Old Shep, and Fate in Love I fall to pieces and on the wings of a dove well, Just a few chords on the banjo, well, that was all he knew But in the eyes of a child and his fingers flew. Well, I practiced and I practiced till I got it right. I packed up everything and just took off one night. Well, I made it from the beer joints to the opera stage. But he said the only difference is what you get paid And he didn't care that everybody knew my name He said it's all for nothing if you don't stay the same And when he died the preacher cried and said he's the lucky one Well he's walking hand in hand with God's only son my faith and common sense tell me the preacher's right But I'd love to hear the banjo ring for me tonight And I will honor my father with these words I write down And as long as I remember him, he'll always be around Man, the pain of losing him cuts like a ramble knife Learned a few chords on the banjo was the key to life. Yeah, the pain of losing him 
cuts like a Randall knife. I learned a few chords on the banjo. What's the key to life? Play, Sonny. <laughs> Let me hear that banjo, buddy. want to do that to me again. <laughs> Man, I'm sitting here into that song and when I, I've heard you sing that before, but I didn't, the last line, I never could figure out know exactly what it was because it was so quiet and I know now and when you said play that, I thought, no way brother, that's strong, that is strong. Thank you very much. You know the banjo has taken a beating its whole life. You know. Yeah, well. <laughs> I just love that my dad played the banjo. He, you know, he couldn't play very well, you know, but he taught me everything he knew and and uh, it was really neat There's uh, that the banjo has taken a serious beating in jokes. There was a guy in a music store, and uh, there was a huge <laughs> line, and a uh, long line, only one cashier, and, and uh, the line's waiting and waiting, and finally he says, Excuse me! And everybody stopped and looked at him, and he goes, Where, where are the condoms? <laughs> what? And this <laughs> clerk kind of walked around and said, Buddy, he says, this is a music store. I said, we don't have condoms here. And he goes, I know. I just need a set of banjo strings. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa!